Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang inequalities, notations, and representations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so far sa mga videos na naturo ko sa inyo, ay nagdidil lang tayo sa equalities. Meaning, gumagamit lang tayo ng equal symbol na nagwa-represent na ang dalawang quantities or variables ay equal. This time, discuss ko naman sa inyo ang inequalities, which from the word itself, in equality, quantities na hindi equal. So, define natin kung ano ang inequality. So, sabi, it is a mathematical statement which states that two quantities are not equal. So, not equal ang keyword kasi inequality. So, dito, gagamit tayo ng mga symbols na less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and not equal to. So, siguro familiar naman kayo dun sa mga symbols na to, yung mga less than, greater than, and then, kung gusto nyo lang gawing less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, lalagyan nyo lang siya ng line underneath para maging ganun na yung ibig sabihin niya. So, ito yung mga example natin. X is less than 5. Less than meaning mas mababa doon sa 5. Y is greater than negative 1. Greater than meaning mas mataas yung Y sa negative 1. X is less than or equal to 3. Meaning yung X daw o yung variable ay pwedeng maging equal sa 3 at mas mababa. Then, X is greater than or equal to negative 2. Meaning yung X ay pwedeng mag-equal sa negative 2 at mas mataas din sa negative 2. Then, X is not equal to negative 5. From the word itself, not equal, meaning yung x ay hindi equal sa negative 5. So, ito-ito yung mga symbols na nagwa-represent para magkaroon tayo ng inequality. So, hindi tayo gagamit dito ng equal sign. So, wala muna tayong equal sign dito. Okay? Tapos, meron tayong tinatawag na trichotomy action. So, sabi, for any numbers x and y, one and only one of the following is true. So, x is less than y, x is greater than y, or x is equal to y, which is tama naman. So, halimbawa, yung x mo, let's say x natin ay 2, and then y natin ay 1. So, alin dito sa tatlo yung magsasatisfy dito sa x and y? Diba itong x is greater than y? So, therefore, ito yung magiging true dito sa dalawang variables na to x and y. Hindi pwedeng ito, at hindi pwedeng ito. Iisa lang yung magiging true. Okay? So, ito yung tinatawag natin na trichotomy action. It is either given two quantities, the one is less than the other, or the one is greater than the other, or they are equal. Okay? Okay. So, this time, dumako naman ngayon tayo sa notations and representations of inequalities. So, kasi kadalasan, dito nalilito yung mga estudyante. Kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng notation na yun. So, meron tayong uh, tatlong way of representing an inequality. So, meron tayong graphing on the number line, meron tayong interval notation, at set notation. So, by the way, itong inequality natin, pwede nating ma-define as bounded or unbounded. So, mamaya, i-discuss ko kung ano yung bounded tsaka unbounded, which we can denote by the symbol parenthesis or bracket. Okay? So, so let's solve some examples para ma-illustrate natin yung pag-represent at different notations for inequalities. So, represent the following inequalities using graphing, interval notation, or set notation. So, since isang way ng pagre-represent ng inequality ay ang paggamit ng number line, nagdrawing ako dito ng isang number line. So, sa number line, obviously, isa lang siyang line na merong mga nakasulat na numbers. So, yung gitna ng number line ay yung origin o yung zero. Tapos, nahati ito sa dalawang region. Doon sa kanan ng number line, ito yung mga positive numbers from 1 up to infinity. So, kaya meron tayong arrow dito that denotes na nag extend infinitely yung uh, number line up to positive infinity. So, ito yung symbol ng positive infinity. Walang katapusan. And then, doon naman sa kaliwa ng 0, meron din tayong arrow na nag extend infinitely na nagde-denote na negative infinity. Meaning, habang lumalayo tayo sa origin pa kaliwa, bumababa ng bumababa yung number. So, kapag pa kanan, pataas ng pataas, kapag pa kaliwa sa origin, ay, ay nagiging more negative or bumababa yung number line. So, mahalagang concept to pag ginamit natin to sa pag-represent ng inequality. 
Okay? So, for the first example, we have the notation x is greater than 4. So, ibig sabihin, lahat daw ng numbers sa number line na nire-represent natin with the variable x ay dapat mas malaki sa 4. So, take note of the symbol that we use, greater than lang. Wala yung line underneath which is not equal or greater than 4. So, therefore, pag gin natin ito sa number line, unang step, check nyo kung ano ba yung included number which is 4. So, punta kayo doon sa number line at number 4. So, kapag greater than yung symbol, lalagyan nyo siya ng bilog. Okay, open. Or pwede rin yung symbol na parenthesis. Like that. So, pwedeng bilog or parenthesis. Ngayon, dahil greater than yung symbol natin, uh, susundin nyo yung direction ng arrow na papunta sa kanan. So, yung bilog, lalagyan nyo ng arrow na papunta sa kanan. Which denotes na mag -e extend siya infinitely from 4 kasi nga greater than 4 siya. Gagamit kayo ng bilog kapag uh, greater than lang walang line underneath or kaya parenthesis. And then kung greater than dapat yung direksyon ng arrow nyo ay papunta sa kanan. Okay? So dapat consider nyo kung saan nyo lalagay yung bilog kung anong included na number doon sa inequality. Okay? So next Punta naman tayo sa equivalent interval notation ng x is greater than 4. So, kapag interval notation, gagamit tayo dito ng parenthesis or bracket. So, since ang symbol natin ay greater than at, at walang line underneath the symbol, tinatawag yon na open. So, gagamit tayo kapag open ng parenthesis. Open interval and then bracket kapag closed interval. So, kapag walang line underneath the greater than or less than symbol, open. So, gagamit tayong parenthesis. So, therefore, lagi tayong magsistart sa open parenthesis. And then, kapag greater than, isusulat nyo after dun sa parenthesis yung given number, which is 4. And then, comma. Tapos, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa number line, nag -e extend siya infinitely. Ng pataas ng pataas. So, di ba sa number line, nilalagyan natin ito ng positive infinity sa dulo to denote na nag extend yon infinitely pataas. So, therefore, dito rin, lalagyan nyo rin ito ng positive infinity. And then, close parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin nito, the interval is 4 up to positive infinity. Not inclusive. So, kapag parenthesis tayo, ibig sabihin, not inclusive yung 4. Unless, pag close na, inclusive yung 4. So, mamaya bihan kayo ng example sa close. So, ito yung interval notation for x is greater than 4. So, mapapansin nyo, itong interval notation natin, pwede natin itong ma-describe as open unbounded interval. So, open siya kasi nga, hindi kasama yung 4 doon sa interval at unbounded siya kasi nga, yung dulo niyang isa dito ay nag extend positive infinity. So, therefore, wala siyang limit unbounded. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng open unbounded interval. Okay? Next, dako tayo sa set notation. So, sa set notation, dahil set nga siya, gagamit tayo ng symbol na braces. Okay? Tapos, laging isusulat, x such that x or kung ano man yung variable na ginamit nyo dito pwedeng y, w pero since x tayo, gagamitin natin tong x such that x so, dapat isusulat nyo lang kung ano yung given sa notation after nitong pangalawang x sulat nyo lang greater than 4 so, yun na yung set notation natin for this example x such that x is greater than 4 so, madali lang okay? next, we have x is greater than or equal to 6. Okay, so since ang symbol na natin ay greater than or equal to 6, ibig sabihin nito, lahat ng number doon sa number line na nirepresent ng variable x ay dapat equal or mas mataas doon sa 6. Okay, so graph natin. So this time, punta tayo sa number 6. So, lagyan nyo ng bilog. Okay, so since ngayon na meron tayong line underneath the Greater than symbol, hindi bilog yung ilalagay natin. Lalagyan natin ng shade. Okay? And then, dahil greater than, yung arrow ay papunta doon sa kanan. Ibig sabihin, nag -e extend siya positively. Okay? Yan. Or pwede rin dito, gamitin nyo ay bracket. So, parang ganyan. Same lang yan. 
Okay? So, that is the representation of x is greater than or equal to 6 using number line. Now, punta tayo sa interval notation. So, this time, dahil nga meron tayong line underneath doon sa greater than symbol, magamit na tayo ng bracket kasi closed na siya. Okay? Hindi siya open. Meaning, pag closed, inclusive siya doon sa number na given natin. So, ganun pa rin, open bracket, and then kung ano yung given number, susulat nyo, 6. Dahil greater than or equal tayo, dapat meron tayong positive infinity dito sa pangalawa. And then, close parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin din, nag-extend infinitely yung mga numbers starting from 6. Inclusive, ah. So, tinatawag naman natin ito ngayon na closed unbounded interval. Sorry, huwag nyo palang lalagyan ng uh, bracket kapag infinity or negative infinity yung dulo. Sa so, dapat open to. Kasi hindi naman inclusive yung infinity. Kasi nga, hindi tayo define kung ano ba yung magiging last value kapag positive or negative infinity. So, huwag yung gagamitan ng bracket yung positive or negative infinity. Ha? Okay. So, kaya close unbounded interval meaning closed kasi inclusive yung number na given doon sa inequality which is 6. And then, unbounded pa rin kasi nga yung right side ng interval natin ay hindi defined or walang specific final value kasi nag extend infinitely in positive direction. So, unbounded interval siya. Okay? And then, for the set notation, ganun ulit, drawing kayo ng braces, and then, x such that x, kukopihin nyo lang tong given notation natin na greater than or equal to 6. Okay? Next, we have, x is less than negative 1. Okay, so, since wala tayong line underneath the less than symbol, gagamit tayo ng open parenthesis. Okay, so if sabihin, lahat daw ng number na represent ng variable x ay dapat less than sa negative 1 at hindi inclusive yung negative 1. So, punta tayo doon sa negative 1. So, pilugan natin yung negative 1. Open siya, wala siyang shade kasi nga open interval tayo. And then dahil less than tayo, Yung direction ng arrow natin ay papunta sa kaliwa. Meaning, pababa ng pababa. Okay? So, pwede rin palang gamitin natin dito ay parenthesis. Okay? Napapunta din yung arrow ng line sa kaliwa. Okay? Next, for the interval notation. Okay, ganun pa rin. But this time, itong una nating isusulat ay after ng open parenthesis, negative infinity. Ibig sabihin, mag extend infinitely papunta sa negative yung number. And then, after nung negative infinity, doon natin isusulat yung negative 1. And then, close parenthesis kasi nga, hindi tayo inclusive kasi open interval tayo. Hindi tayo gumamit ng line under doon sa less than symbol. Okay, so yun ang tatandaan nyo ha? Kapag less than yung symbol natin, Mauna nating isulat sa interval notation yung negative infinity. ba kanina kapag positive infinity, kapag greater than, sa pangalawang section yung positive infinity. Right? Kapag less than naman, nauuna yung negative infinity. Followed by kung ano yung given number. Okay? So, huwag nyo rin lalagyan ng bracket yung negative infinity. Ha? Kasi hindi naman tayo sure kung ano yung magiging last value for negative infinity. So, undefined siya. Okay? So, ito, tawag din dito ay uh, open unbounded interval. Okay? Next, set notation. So, mas madali ito kasi gagayan lang natin yung given notation. X such that X is less than negative 1. Okay? Next, we have X is less than or equal to 0. Okay, dahil meron tayong line underneath doon sa less than symbol, gagamit tayo ng bracket or closed interval. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng numbers na represent natin sa number line using variable x ay dapat equal sa 0 or less than 0. Okay, so graph natin. So, doon tayo sa 0. Draw tayo ng shaded circle. And then, dahil less than, yung arrow papunta dito sa kaliwa. Okay? So, pwede rin tong bracket and then arrow papunta sa kaliwa. Okay? 
Next, interval notation. So, dahil less than tayo, mauna nating isulat doon sa after nung parenthesis, open parenthesis, ay yung negative infinity. And then, comma, at kung ano yung given number, which is 0. Which is, dapat yung dulo natin ay bracket. Kasi inclusive siya, right? So, kapag bracket, close interval, inclusive yung number natin, which is 0. Okay, so ito ay example ngayon ng closed unbounded interval. Okay, then sa set notation naman niya, gawa tayo ulit ng braces para madenote yung set and then sulat natin sa loob yung x such that x is, gayahin lang natin to less than or equal to 0. Okay, next we have the notation x is greater than 5 and x is less than 7. So, meron tayong dalawa. Pag sinabing end, kukuhain nyo yung intersection ng dalawang inequality. Okay, kung saan sila nag-common. So, therefore, igagrap natin ito pareho. So, grab muna natin yung x is greater than 5. So, gamit tayo ng pula. So, alam naman natin mag ng greater than 5. So, take note, wala tayong line underneath. So, open interval tayo. So, punta tayo sa 5. So, dito yon and then, walang shade kasi open. Tapos, greater than, so papunta siya dito sa kanan. And then, gamit naman tayo ng kulay blue para dun sa x is less than 7. So, since less than tayo, papunta tayo sa kaliwa. Tapos, punta muna tayo dun sa given number na 7. Dahil, wala ulit tayong line underneath doon sa less than symbol, bilog lang siya. And then, papunta nga doon sa kaliwa. So, sabi ko nga, yung kukunin natin dito ay yung intersection ng dalawa. Meaning, kung saan nagparehong, kung saan parehong dumaan yung color blue tsaka kulay red na line. Which is, ito yun, di ba? Ito yung portion na yun. So, therefore, yung final answer natin dito ay etong portion na to. So, from 5 to 7. Okay, so, parehong may bilog sa 5 tsaka sa 7. Tapos, kung ano yung number in between doon, yun yung solution natin dito. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, para siyang number in between 5 and 7 na hindi inclusive yung 5 sa 7. Kapag ganito, pwede natin tong isulat as kung ano yung mas mababa, which is 5, then less than, tapos yung kung ano yung variable na ginamit, x, and then copy nyo lang tong less than 7. Meaning, yung x mo ay in between dun sa 5 sa 7. Which is, kung ginrap nga natin, sensible kasi ito yung itsura niya. Dapat, hindi inclusive nga lang yung 5 tsaka 7 kasi gumamit tayo ng less than symbol na walang line. So, open. Okay? So, ito yung one way of representing this ha. Kapag meron tayong and, pwede rin natin tong isulat as this way. Kung meron tayong isang greater than tsaka isang less than, tapos yung isang number ay mas maliit dun sa isang number. Okay? Next, for the interval notation, Okay, so alam na natin na ito yung graph niya, di ba? So, therefore, open interval tayo kasi gumamit nga tayo ng bilog. Anyway, pwede rin pala itong i-represent as ganito. Okay, kasi parenthesis ay same as open interval. So, gagamit tayo ng open parenthesis kasi nga wala tayong line underneath doon sa mga greater than or less than symbol. And then, magsisimula ka kung saan kung ano yung mas mababang number, which is ito yun, di ba? Which is 5. So, sulat mo yung 5, and then comma, pangalawang number, which is 7. And then, close parenthesis. Parenthesis yung ginamit natin kasi not inclusive yung 5 tsaka sa 7. Ibig sabihin nito, yung number between 5 and 7, yan yung solution natin. Okay, so tinatawag ito na open, this time bounded interval. Open kasi gumamit tayo ng parenthesis, meaning hindi inclusive yung dulong 5 tsaka 7. Bounded na this time kasi meron na tayong boundary doon sa solution natin. Unlike doon sa kanina, nag extend siya positive infinity or negative infinity. So wala, ta so, wala tayong boundary sa isang side. But this time, both side meron tayong boundary, which is yung 5 tsaka 7. So kaya tinawag siyang bounded interval. Okay. Then, for the set notation, ganun lang din. Pwede nyong isulat to as x such that x is greater than 5 and 
x is less than 7. Or, ito na lang, x such that 5 is less than x is less than 7. Okay? So, by the way, pwede rin pala tong isulat as x is greater than 5, intersection, x is less than 7. Okay? Next, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and x is less than or equal to 1. So, since meron tayong line underneath the greater than or less than symbol, it is a closed interval or gagamit tayo ng bracket at shaded circle. So, pag ginrap natin to, grab ko muna itong x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So, punta tayo sa negative 2. So, shaded circle dahil may line underneath the greater than symbol. And then, dahil greater than, papunta tayo sa kanan. Okay, doon naman tayo sa x is less than or equal to 1. So, therefore, punta tayo sa 1. And then, bilugan natin, shaded circle. This time, the less than, papunta tayo sa kaliwa. Okay, so parang ito rin yung kanina. Ang difference lang ay uh, close interval tayo. So, therefore, ang solution natin ay kung saan parang dumaan yung blue tsaka red line. Which is ito yun, di ba? So, therefore, ito yung final answer natin. Parang bilugan natin yung negative 2, shaded ah, hanggang 1, shaded then Or pwede ring bracket, right? So, therefore, pwede natin i-represent yung inequality na to as x is in between negative 2 and 1. So, or negative 1 is less than or equal to x or less than or equal to 1. Okay? So, ganun uli, palatandaan nyo kapag meron kayong greater than tsaka less than, tapos meron kayong number na mas mababa doon sa isa, automatic parang interval yung mangyayari doon. Yung x nyo magiging number in between doon sa boundary. So, in interval notation, ganun uli, since close interval nga talaga gagamit tayo ng bracket, Tapos kung aning mas mababa din sa dalawa, sulat nyo as una, so negative 2, then comma, aning mas mataas, 1, and then close bracket. So therefore, it is an example of closed bounded interval. Bounded siya kasi meron siyang limit na dalawa na negative 2 tsaka 1. Closed kasi inclusive yung negative 2 tsaka 1 doon sa inequality. So, pwedeng masama yung negative 2 tsaka 1 doon sa value ng x as well as yung mga number in between doon. Okay? Now, sa set notation, ganun ulit. Sulat kayo ng braces. Sulat nyo x such that x. Pwedeng kung ano yung given natin. x is greater than negative 2 and x is greater than or equal to 1. Or... The set of x such that negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. Okay? Next, we have x is greater than 4 and x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, so graph muna natin yung x is greater than 4. So, mapapansin nyo, magkaiba sila. Yung, yung isa, walang line or not inclusive yung 4. Then, yung isa, may line or inclusive yung 6. So, dito tayo sa 4 muna. So, gagamit tayo ng open circle kasi nga, wala tayong line underneath. So, dito tayo sa 4, bilog lang, or pwede ring open parenthesis. Then, dahil greater than, papunta tayo sa kanan. Okay, doon naman tayo sa x is less than or equal to 6, gamit tayong blue. So, punta tayo sa 6. So, this time, dahil merong line underneath dun sa less than symbol, shade natin yung bilog sa number 6. Or pwede tayong gumamit ng bracket. Dahil less than, papunta naman tayo sa kaliwa. Okay. So, therefore, ang solution natin ay itong interval kung saan nag-meet yung blue tsaka red color. So, ito yun, ba? So, therefore, yung final answer natin ay open circle up to 6 na closed circle. So, from 4 to 6. Yun sa 4, open circle or parenthesis din yun sa 6, closed uh, shaded circle or bracket. So, therefore, pwede natin itong isulat also as, kung mapapansin nyo kasi parang meron siyang interval in between dun sa 4 tsaka sa 6. So, parang uh, 4 less than Less than, walang line kasi yun yung ginamit natin. Kasi open interval tayo sa 4. X, this time, 
less than or equal to 6. Close tayo sa 6 kasi yun yung ginamit natin. May line underneath. Okay? So, pag interval notation natin to, so, open parenthesis tayo dun sa una kasi nga open interval siya. So, sulat mo kung ano yung mas mababa, which is 4, comma, and then dun sa second number, kung ano yung pangalawang given na 6. And then, yung dulo niya ay bracket kasi inclusive siya. Okay, so tinatawag natin to na half open or half closed bounded interval. Half open and half closed kasi dito sa side na to, open siya, tapos dito sa side na to, close siya. Yung isa inclusive, siya. yung isa hindi. At bounded, kasi meron boundary yung variable natin na x, which is from 4 to 6. Okay? Tapos sa set naman, we have x such that x is greater than 4 and x is less than or equal to 6 or x such that 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 6. Okay? Next we have x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than 2. So para lang ding tong yung example number 7 pero this time yung Una nating inequality naman yung merong line underneath, which is yung greater than or equal to 0. Then yung pangalawa naman yung wala, which is less than 2 lang. So, grab muna natin tong x is greater than or equal to 0. Dahil meron tayong line underneath the greater than symbol, gagamit tayo ng shaded circle doon sa, sa given number, which is 0. Okay? Or pwede ring bracket. So, papunta siya sa kanan kasi greater than. Okay? Then, dun naman sa x is less than 2, gamit tayo ng blue, punta tayo sa number 2, dahil wala, ta wala tayong line underneath the less than symbol, open circle lang, or parenthesis. So, dahil less than, papunta tayo sa kaliwa. So, yung sagot uli dito ay yung intersection ng red tsaka blue, kasi naka-end tayo, which is itong portion na to, ba? So, therefore, our final answer is, close circle from 0, to open circle to 2. So, parang interval uli siya. So, in interval notation, yung gagamitin natin dito sa uh, opening ay bracket kasi inclusive siya or meron tayong line underneath the greater than symbol. Tapos, sulat nyo kung anong number na mas mababa which is 0, comma, and then yung pangalawang number which is 2, and then this time close parenthesis. Kasi nga, open yung inequality natin dito sa less than 2. So, parenthesis yung gagamitin natin, not inclusive. So, therefore, it is also an example of half open or half closed bounded interval. So, ang boundary niya ay from 0 to 2 with 0 inclusive and 2 not inclusive. Okay? So, pwede pa rin pala uli natin itong isulat as uh, 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 2. Okay? Meaning yung x ay in between 0 inclusive at 2 not inclusive. So, sa set notation, gamit tayo ng braces. So, we have x such that x is greater than 0 and x is less than 2. Or, ito pa natin isulat, x such that 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 2. Okay? Next, we have x is less than or equal to 1 or x is greater than 4. This time, yung kinamit natin ay hindi na and or hindi na end, which is or na. Meaning, kapag or, hahanapin naman natin yung union nila. Okay, or gagamit tayo ng symbol na u. Kanina, ba sa and, ganon. Ngayon sa or, ito yung symbol na gagamitin natin. Parang ano to, x is less than or equal to 1. Union, x is greater than 4. So, ganun pa rin. Grab pa rin natin to isa-isa. So, dito, close interval tayo kasi meron tayong line underneath the less than symbol. So, gagamit tayo dyan ng shaded circle sa number 1. And then, dahil less than, papunta siya sa kaliwa. Or pwede ring bracket na papunta sa kaliwa. And then, dito naman tayo sa x is greater than 4. So, gamit tayo yung blue. Munta tayo sa number 4. Open circle lang kasi wala tayong line underneath the greater than symbol or 
open parenthesis lang. And then, dahil greater than, papunta tayo sa kanan. Okay. So, mapapansin nyo, wala silang intersection. Walang nag-meet na both red at line. So, kaya, ang ginamit natin dito ay or. So, therefore, yung solution natin ay itong dalawang to. Which is, wala tayong solution in between dito sa 1 tsaka sa 4. Itong binilugan ko. Ito lang yung solution natin. 1 up to negative infinity inclusive and then 4 up to positive infinity not inclusive. So, in interval notation, ganun din. So, ito muna tayo sa x is less than or equal to 1. So, dahil less than nga tayo, gagamit tayo ng uh, negative infinity and then open parenthesis, comma, dahil inclusive tayo, gagamit tayo ng bracket, tapos susulat natin yung given na 1. And then, sabi ko nga, dahil or, lalagyan nyo ng symbol na union. Okay? Then, dito naman tayo sa x is greater than 4. So, dahil greater than tayo, at open interval tayo, walang line underneath the greater than symbol, gamit tayo ng open parenthesis, and then, sulat natin yung given number, which is 4, comma, and then, extending up to positive infinity. So, so sulat tayo ng positive infinity symbol. And then, close parenthesis. So, ito yung interval notation natin for this solution. Okay? So, sa set notation naman, ganun din, pwede namang natin isulat lang to, x such that x is less than or equal to 1, or x is greater than 4. Okay? Or, x such that x is less than or equal to 1, union, x is greater than 4. Okay? So, ito, mapapasin nyo, ano siya? Unbounded siya. Unbounded kasi, nag extend infinitely yung mga solution in both sides. So, negative infinity tsaka positive infinity. Okay? Next, we have the notation, x is greater than or equal to 5, or, x is less than negative 1. So, or uli yung ginamit natin. So, grab muna natin tong x is greater than or equal to 5. So, then tayo sa 5. And then, shaded circle kasi close interval tayo. And then, greater than. So, papunta dito sa kanan. Or, pwede ring bracket sa 5 papunta sa kanan. Okay din naman tayo sa x is less than negative 1. So, gamit tayong color blue. So, punta tayo sa negative 1. Dahil... Open interval tayo, walang line underneath, open circle lang tayo. And then dahil less than, papunta tayo sa kaliwa. From negative 1, not inclusive, papunta sa negative infinity. Or pwede rin parenthesis na papunta sa kaliwa. So therefore, ito yung solution natin. Yung union nitong color blue, tsaka yung color red. So, ang hindi kasama sa solution ay itong number in between sa kanila. Yung negative 1, not inclusive, at yung 5 na inclusive. Okay? So, therefore, in interval notation, pwede natin yung isulat as ito muna. So, dahil nag extend yung unang solution natin ng negative infinity, meron tayong open parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, and then kung ano yung given number doon, which is negative 1, then close parenthesis kasi not inclusive tayo, open interval. Then, union, then, this time, dahil greater than tayo at inclusive, dahil meron tayong line underneath dun sa greater than symbol, gamit tayong bracket. And then, sulat natin kung ano yung given number, which is 5, comma. And then, nag extend sa positive infinity, yung inequality natin, write tayo ng positive infinity. And then, close parenthesis. So, therefore, ito yung sagot natin in interval notation form. So, mapapansin nyo, unbounded uli kasi yung dulo-dulo niya ay nag extend in negative and positive infinity. Okay? Then sa set notation, kopihin lang natin x such that x is greater than 5 or x is less than negative 1. Okay? Next, we have all real numbers. Okay, so wala tayong ginamit na inequality symbols. So, sabi lang, all real numbers. So, ano ba ibig sabihin pag all real numbers? So, di ba sa number din, kapag sinabi natin na number line, lahat ng number doon ay all real numbers. Right? So, therefore, dahil yun yung hinahanap natin sa number 11, 
Therefore, yung sagot natin dito, true graphing, ay yung mismong number line na kasi lahat naman ng number doon sa number line ay all real numbers. Which is 0 inclusive, tapos yung uh, number to the right of 0 that extends up to positive infinity, walang katapusan, and then yung number to the right of 0 that extends up to negative infinity, wala rin katapusan. So therefore, ito yung graph mismo ng all real numbers which is simply the number line. Tapos sa interval notation, kung mapapansin nyo, di ba yung number line natin, yung sagot natin ay yung mismong number line. So, paano natin marirepresent yung interval notation? So, dahil nag extend nga tayo in negative infinity at saka positive infinity kapag yung all real numbers yung kinonsider natin sa number line, therefore, gagamit tayo ng grouping symbol na parenthesis. Kasi nga, undefined yung dulo-dulo nila. Not existing. Kasi nga, negative infinity at saka positive infinity. Then, dun sa una, susunod nyo ay yung negative infinity, then comma, dun sa pangalawa ay positive infinity. Okay. Ibig sabihin nito, all real numbers. Lahat ng numbers na nag extend from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Okay? Next, set notation. So, ganun ulit. X such that X is real number. So, pwedeng word na lang. Or, x such that x is a member, pag e-member yon of real number. Itong r, nag-represent yan usually ng real number. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this topic, inequalities. So, mahalaga na alam nyo yung representations at notations for inequalities. Kasi, yun yung way nyo ng pagsusulat noong solution kapag nag-solve kayo ng actual inequality problem. So, kailangan alam nyo munang magsulat ng solution in different ways for inequalities bago kayo mag-proceed doon sa pagsusolve mismo ng inequality problems. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.